Today we have a 10 minute practice, full body stretch. It's an all levels class and all you need is a mat. Actually, all you need is 10 minutes to feel good in your body. So we're gonna be synchronizing our breath with our movements and just bringing a bit of general mobility and flexibility throughout the full body. Today we're gonna to begin in a child's pose at the back of our mats, having your knees out wide, toes touching at the back of the mat and stretch your arms out in front of you. You can rest your forehead down onto the ground and close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to arrive. Inhale to full, feel the breath in the back of your lungs. As you exhale, you thread the needle in your child's pose variation, taking your right arm, threading it underneath your left shoulder. Place the right hand side of your head onto the ground and extend your left arm out in front of you alongside your left ear. Hold and breathe. You're going to close your eyes, relax your hips, and see if you can feel into the full sensation of your breath. Inhale to release, extend both arms out in front of you, and reset. As you exhale, thread the needle to the right hand side. Left arm comes underneath right shoulder, rest the left hand side of your head onto the floor, and right arm comes alongside your ear. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Inhale to release, extend both arms out in front of you. And with your exhale, come up to tabletop, squaring yourself off. You're wanting to stack your shoulders directly over the wrists, hips over the knees, and have your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. Inhale, cow pose, lower the belly, chin up, open through the collarbones. Exhale, cat pose, curl into the spine, press into the ground. Nice and slow. Inhale, cow. Lower the belly, look up. Exhale, cat, curl and press. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat pose, curl. And release, neutral tabletop. Extend your arms out in front of you. Spread them a little bit wider than shoulder width distance apart. Tuck your back toes. Take a deep breath in. Exhale down dog, send the hips up and lower your heels down. Take a moment just to arrive into the first down dog of the day. You can pedal your legs out from left to right. See if you can relax the back of your neck, close your eyes and feel into the sensations of your movements. Find stillness in your down dog. And I always encourage students in these shorter classes to try and really focus on your breath throughout your practice. Try to synchronize your breath with your movements and making them long and smooth. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, slowly walk towards the top of your mat, coming into a ragdoll shape. Really feeling your way there slowly, starting off with a bend to your knees and feet are hip-width distance apart. Grab opposite elbows and begin to sway from left to right. Just allowing some time for your spine to decompress. And if you find your legs are completely straight, trust me, rather bend them, get your belly onto your thighs and see if you can try and hang your shoulders and your head off your hips, kind of swaying from left to right. You can release, interlace the hands behind your back, squeeze your elbows together, and with a long exhale, allow your hands to come up and over your head. You're welcome to pedal your legs out from left to right. Take one last breath in. And as you exhale, release your hands down to the ground. 
keeping your feet hip width distance apart. You're going to inhale halfway, lift. Spine parallels to the ground, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, halfway, lift. Spine straight. Exhale, right foot steps back, coming into a lizard lunge or a runner's lunge. So you're placing your right foot towards the back of the mat, lower the back knee to the floor, untuck the back toe, and your left foot is on the outside of your left hand. So you're working some space into the left hip. Now, options to stay here, or you can lower down into the elbows, or come all the way down to the floor. And if you'd like to add in a little bit extra and work some length into your right quad, you can take the right heel, bend it towards your bum, and send the left arm back, and with control, gently take hold of the foot. Now, options to stay, and if you'd like to go a little bit deeper, you can add a little bit of mobility by inhale, shifting the hips back, and exhale, shift them forward, and you should feel quite an intense stretch on your right quad. You wanna open up through the, the chest, looking up and over the left shoulder. Take one last deep breath in. And as you exhale, you can make your way onto your hands. No matter where you are, you can gently release the back foot if you've got hold of it. Tuck the back toe and raise the back knee in a lizard lunge. You're gonna inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward, Malasana Yogi squat. Right foot comes to meet the left. Just lowering down onto the heels if possible. Otherwise, you can stay onto the top or the balls of the feet, swaying from left to right. Inhale to full. Exhale, forward fold, straighten the back of the legs and release. Inhale, halfway lift, feet hip width distance apart. Exhale, left foot steps to the back of the mat, coming into a runner's lunge on the other side. Now your right foot is on the outside of the right hand and you can make your way into the same posture as you did on the other side. So lower the back knee, untuck the back toe. Options to stay on the hands or come down into the elbows. If you'd like to work into a quad stretch, you can bend the left heel and send the right arm back. And release, you can lower the back leg if it's up, come back onto the hands and raise the back knee. Take a deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, step forward to Malasana or Yogi squat, feet to meet at the top of the mat. And when you're ready, you can make your way down onto the ground, extending both legs out in front of you. So we're gonna move into Pachi Motanasana or east facing forward fold. We're gonna start off with a bend in the legs and get into the front of the sitting bones. If you need to, you can always just remove the flesh from underneath your glutes. You're gonna inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, shift forward, take hold of either your feet or your shins and get that strong belly to thigh connection, opening up through the chest, almost pressing the belly flat into the thighs and either holding onto the shins or the feet just as a bit of a support to open up the chest and lead length along the spine. You're gonna take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly walk your sitting bones to the back of your mats. Close your eyes, hold and breathe. Inhale to release and roll up. And as you exhale, gently lower down onto the ground. We're gonna move into happy baby, lowering down onto our backs, sending our heels up to the sky. Options to take hold of your knees or your shins. Otherwise you can take the outer blades of your feet. Having the knees out wide, you wanna gently pull down with the hands and kick up with the heels as a kind of push pull motion to flatten your spine on the ground. And relax the back of the neck, close your eyes. And if you'd like to, you can add a gentle rock from left to right just to massage your spine out.
And release, draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a tight squeeze. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release and relax into Shavasana. Well done. Taking up as much space as you like, having the toes out wide, palms facing up. Bring yourself to stillness. Inhale, fill your belly up. And as you exhale, release and let that all go. Well done. And as you lay still in your Shavasana, see if you can embody your sense of attention. So really feeling into the sensations in your body and your breath. Leaning into a long exhale. And if you find your attention drifts off into your thoughts, don't worry. Just notice and draw it back into the body, back into your breath. And you're welcome to lay here for as long as you like. I encourage students to try and do a few more breaths in the Shavasana than they normally would. Otherwise, thank you so much for putting such beautiful effort into your practice and all the support into this channel. And I will see you next time on your mat. Namaste.